Lost billions, gained innovation, unravel the astounding tale of China's cancelled $32.1 billion chip order and their groundbreaking leap with a domestic lithography machine. The Chinese chip market is undergoing a remarkable transformation amid U.S. chip restriction regulations. In response, China has taken decisive steps towards achieving self-sufficiency, with an ambitious target of attaining a 70% self-sufficiency rate in chips, China is prioritizing domestic chip production. A notable development in this pursuit is the enhanced research and development efforts by Shanghai Microelectronics in the field of lithography machines. As a testament to this progress, Chinese enterprises have successfully adopted the first domestically produced lithography machine, marking a significant milestone. China stands as the world's largest chip market, where it heavily relies on imported integrated circuits. Each year, a significant amount is spent on high-end chip imports, catering to the demands of various consumer electronics like smartphones, computers, and tablets. However, China's current production capacity falls short in manufacturing high-end chips with nanometer scales of 7 or below. The majority of their technological expertise lies within mature process nodes such as 14 and 28 nanometers. Despite this, the mature chip market experiences substantial demand, further fueled by the widespread adoption of artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and big data applications. As these technologies continue to proliferate, the market necessitates continuous innovation to meet the growing demand for improved chip performance and reduced power consumption. Introducing new chip products becomes imperative for the mature chip market to align with evolving market requirements and sustain its growth trajectory. Chinese chip manufacturer SMIC is making remarkable strides in expanding its 12-inch wafer capacity for mature chips, while also experiencing a substantial increase in the shipment of its 28 nanometer chips. This development is indicative of China's decreasing reliance on imported chips, as the country now boasts its own domestically produced chips. Notably, China's integrated circuit imports in the first quarter of this year amounted to 108.2 billion pieces, demonstrating a significant 22.9% year-on-year decrease, which translates to a reduction of 32.1 billion chip imports compared to the previous year. Consequently, a staggering 32.1 billion chip orders were cancelled, posing challenges for overseas chip giants to generate substantial profits. These trends underscore China's continuously improving self-sufficiency in the chip industry. Before we proceed further and discover what revolution has brought local litho machine in China, make sure you have hit the like and subscribe button to get instant notifications of the videos. Now let's continue. Another milestone achieved in China's chip industry occurred during the first quarter of this year, as Chinese enterprises successfully integrated the first domestically produced lithography machine into their operations. Notably, Conscience, a Chinese enterprise, adopted the advanced packaging lithography machine from Shanghai Microelectronics for a prominent production line project. Shanghai Microelectronics stands as the sole company in China capable of manufacturing complete lithography machines. In the field of front-end lithography machines, Shanghai Microelectronics has achieved a remarkable 90 nanometer lithography machine process mass production capability. Additionally, in the back-end lithography machine domain, Shanghai Microelectronics excels, possessing the capacity to manufacture advanced packaging lithography machines with 2.5D and 3D capabilities. Many individuals may not be aware of the distinction between front-end and back-end lithography machines, which play crucial roles in the semiconductor chip manufacturing process. Front-end lithography machines are primarily utilized to create lithographic masks, projecting chip design patterns onto silicon wafers to form intricate patterns. In contrast, back-end lithography machines are responsible for etching these patterns onto the silicon wafer, ultimately shaping the chip's circuit components. Front-end lithography machines demand higher resolution and precision, while back-end lithography machines require greater processing speed and robust etching capabilities. Undeniably, front-end lithography machines pose greater manufacturing challenges, necessitating high-precision optical systems, precise mechanical systems, and stable control systems. Mastery of multiple disciplines such as physics, optics, and mechanics is essential. As an all, 
A prominent player in the field has achieved high-end processes of 5 nanometers and below with its front-end lithography machines, particularly its highly sought-after EUV lithography machines. However, the market still faces a shortage of these cutting-edge machines. On the other hand, domestically produced front-end lithography machines in China currently reach a mass-produced process of 90 nanometers, leaving significant room for future improvement. The lithography machine recently adopted by Chinese enterprises falls within the back-end category, predominantly catering to the demand for chip packaging. Nevertheless, advanced packaging holds immense importance for domestic chips. This is because advanced packaging technology enhances chip performance, reduces power consumption, improves reliability, and simultaneously decreases chip size and cost. Leveraging advanced packaging technology elevates the market competitiveness of chips, attracts a broader customer base, fosters partnerships, and stimulates the growth of China's domestic chip industry. The imposition of frequent restrictions on Chinese chips by the United States is inadvertently accelerating China's journey towards self-sufficiency. The cancellation of 32.1 billion chip imports and the successful integration of the first domestically produced lithography machine by Chinese enterprises serve as compelling evidence. Foreign media have echoed Bill Gates' sentiments, highlighting that the United States cannot impede China from attaining powerful chips. On the contrary, restrictions will only fuel China's drive for self-reliance while leading to the loss of numerous high-paying jobs in the United States. The facts support Bill Gates' assertions, as China's chip industry exhibits clear signs of self-sufficiency, while the U.S. technology industry has witnessed over 130,000 job layoffs nationwide from January to May this year, with a staggering total of over 410,000 layoffs. If the United States persists with its restrictive measures, it will only harm its own company's profits, exacerbate the number of job losses, and face regret when it's too late. U.S. companies are reliant on selling chips to the Chinese market, yet China is progressively manufacturing more chips domestically. Although high-end chips still require imports for now, it is only a matter of time before China achieves breakthroughs in high-end chip manufacturing technology, resolving many existing challenges. Bill Gates has astutely recognized this reality and has urged the United States to reconsider its course. Failure to heed this advice will result in the United States bearing the consequences alone. As China's chip industry rises, American chip companies like Qualcomm, AMD, and Micron have experienced a sudden blow to their reputation. Data indicates that as chip orders sharply decline and prices decrease, Qualcomm's net profit in the second quarter of the 2023 fiscal year plummeted by 42% compared to the previous year. This outcome was unimaginable in the past and has left foreign media astonished. It is now conceivable that American chips may face elimination from the Chinese market. However, the determination and potential of the rise of China's chip industry have been underestimated by the outside world. Recent reports reveal significant advancements in Chinese chiplet technology with Tongfu Microelectronics successfully overcoming the challenges of the 5 nanometer process technology. This achievement signifies that China has bypassed Western blockades on EUV lithography machines and is poised for mass production of high-end chips. Huawei deserves credit for this remarkable progress as it shifted its focus to the development of new quantum chips following the US chip embargo. Quantum chips are considered the future trend of the chip market, in just nine months, Huawei invested a staggering 110 billion yuan in this endeavor. Such a substantial investment bore fruit when Huawei announced the emergence of a new patent for superconducting quantum chips. This breakthrough technology addresses long-standing challenges faced by the U.S. chip giant Intel, reducing crosstalk between quantum bits and significantly improving calculation speed and accuracy. China's chips have thus achieved an important breakthrough by taking an alternative path surpassing the United States in this regard. China is taking significant strides towards reducing its reliance on the United States, as evidenced by its decision to decrease orders for hundreds of billions of chips and the successful integration of the first domestically produced lithography machine by Chinese enterprises. Furthermore, Huawei's introduction of a new type of quantum chip and the establishment of a domestic photon chip production line underscore China's determination to break away from external dependencies. Similar to how China has made remarkable advancements in the fields of new energy and biotechnology, 
it is poised to achieve the same level of success in the realm of domestic chips. In conclusion, the debate surrounding Huawei and the imposition of sanctions has ignited a spark of determination within the Chinese tech industry. As Bill Gates voiced his concerns, industry insiders confidently foresee a future where China not only becomes self-reliant in chip manufacturing, but thrives as a global leader in this domain. The vision is clear, and the drive is relentless. With innovation and dedication as their allies, the day is fast approaching when China will no longer be dependent on American chips. So, here's the pivotal question. As China advances on its path of technological independence, will the rest of the world be prepared for a new era of competition? The race for technological supremacy has only just begun, and the future holds limitless possibilities. Are you ready to witness the dawn of a transformative age, or will you be left in the dust? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and stay connected with us for more informative content.